Welcome to the final module, where we're going to talk about Moodle. In an online or hybrid course, Moodle is where the course happens. Moodle is the learning management system, LMS, that Regis College uses as a place to host its online courses. It is an interactive and secure website where instructors and students can engage in teaching and learning. You are currently in Moodle right now, in case you had not realized it. Instructors will use Moodle to store course materials such as the syllabus, guidelines, readings, and other course documents. Additionally, the instructor will use Moodle to post announcements and grades. Instructors will also use features in Moodle such as discussion forums, assignment submissions, and quizzes and tests. Navigating in your online course on Moodle. Navigating through Moodle mainly consists of moving through the links on the left side section labeled navigation of the page. Each line is a link to somewhere within the Moodle environment. When you select links on the navigation, the content will usually appear in the middle of the page. For lines that have triangles to the left of them, also known as chevrons, users can click on the chevron or the link and expose additional links. Navigation menu, my home. This link will bring you out of the course you are currently in and to your Moodle homepage, where you will be able to see all courses you are in. Site Home. This link will bring you out of the course into a listing different college and course related links. Home. Select this link to expand the options under it. Site Badges. This section identifies if there are any badges in the course to be earned and if you have earned them yet. Calendar. This link shows you a calendar that highlights any due dates that are within Moodle in relation to any course you are currently enrolled in. If you select a particular item on the calendar, it will bring you into that item within the course in which the assignment is due. My Profile. Select this link to expand the options under it. View Profile. This link allows you to see what is in your profile. Forum Posts. Select this link to expand the options under it. Posts. This link will shows you any and all discussion posts you have submitted, including replies. Discussions. This link shows you any discussions you have started as the first thread. My private files. This link brings you to a place where you can hold private files that might be useful or relevant to a particular course. My badges. This link shows any badges that you have earned. Repository, not applicable. Current course. Select this link to expand the options under it, which are generally links to different areas within the course you are currently in. My courses. This link brings you to my home. Course administration. Select this link to expand the options under it. Grades. This link will bring you to your current grades in the course you are currently in. My profile settings. Select this link to expand the options under it. Edit profile. This link allows you to edit your profile with additional information and even a photo. Messaging. This link allows you to configure when you want to receive messages from Moodle with regards to your courses. Badges. Select this link to expand the options. Preferences. This link allows you to set your preferences with badges. Backpack settings. This link allows you to bring your badges out of the Moodle system if you are so inclined. Tools that are commonly used in Moodle. News forum. Instructors provide announcements that are often quick updates and clarification to the students about what is going on in the course currently. The news forum will post the most recent announcements and students will also receive these announcements via their Regis College email. Discussion forums. This is a major tool in online courses. Instructors often look for students to participate in meaningful discussions weekly based around the course content. Quiz. Instructors can create quizzes and tests for students to take with this feature. By clicking on a quiz, such as you did, in module one with the learning activity is online learning for me quiz. You will be brought to the quizzes front page where it will provide you some details about the quiz, if there's a time limitation, the number of questions, etc., and then allow you to access it. Assignments. This is where students would upload a document for the instructor to evaluate. Other tools. 
Instructors may use a wide range of other tools in Moodle, such as blogs, wikis, and journals, etc. Moodle Help Students can access help in two different ways. For general help on how to do things, students can enter into the course named Student Academic Computing Exchange and explore the different tutorials and resources there. This will provide a variety of materials for you to access to figure out the issue you may be trying to resolve. If you run into any other issues with Moodle, you should contact the help desk by logging in at https colon forward slash forward slash support.regiscollege.edu. Please log in with your username at regiscollege.edu in your regular Regis password. Where to from here? Tutorials. This module's resources provide some clarity around understanding and using Moodle. You are not expected to read everything in the tutorials, but only materials that you would like further information about or feel you need further training on. Module 4 Learning Activity, your first discussion. For this module's learning activity, your goal is to post a comment to the Module 4 Learning Activity, your first discussion, as well as offer a reply to someone else's post. This will provide you with familiarity around the tool that most instructors use in their online courses. View all course content. In order to take the final quiz, please make sure you have looked at all course components. You'll know you have completed something because a check mark will appear next to it in the course. Take final quiz to earn your Online Learning 101 badge. Once you have looked at all course components and done the four assignments, the final quiz will appear on the course homepage at the top. Thank you very much for watching this and good luck on the final quiz.